Hello and welcome back to Japan's Perfect Pens JPP. My name is Richard and if you've noticed this is a slightly different introduction it's because today we are reviewing a Yukari Royale. So this Yukari Royale review will be of the Golden Rose pen, the very pen you've just seen by Yutaka and this is a 2011 limited edition although the date on this pen is 2009 so I imagine it took quite a long time to produce the limited edition run with only one person making them so the pens were being made for a couple of years in order to release them at 2011. It's a gold pen with Macchio roses and with Raiden leaves. Now this is an Amiki Yukari Royale which is their second largest pen size. It's a cartridge converter pen. It's brass with Urushi, Macchio and Raiden on it, 15 centimeters long. The section diameter at 30 millimeters is about the same as an Emperor, but the barrel diameter at 15 millimeters is smaller. So let's have a look at the pen here. So first thing you can see, these are shining Raiden leaves and it's not the purple Raiden we often see on pens. This is the near white. Let's turn it around here. You can see we have these different roses that have been inlaid with the raised macchie. Now this is the Tokodashi Taki macchie, which is the burnished raised macchie. So that means they get 30 stages of production before the pen is ready to add the macchie. They add the macchie and they use Urushi and charcoal to raise it up and then they burnish it. You end up with this beautiful raised effect here. So the petals on the roses are all raised. You can see the light reflects differently because they are raised up and indeed the charcoal burnishing between them has been done in a way that leaves these nice black lines to really emphasize the shape of the petals. So the leaves are made of Raiden. Now this is the thin layer of certain shells. It's usually blue, green or purple but you can also get the white mother of pearl style. It's cut into the shape and then they use the warigai technique which is where they crack it. So you can see that it's not just in a leaf shape, within the leaf it's also been cracked and it's absolutely stunning. I mean, it's the main feature of this pen, the Raiden set against the gold. So have a look at it, this is just lovely. So here we have it. It is a really beautiful piece with these two elements on it and they are split between the cap and the barrel. So as I turn it round, there's about an equal emphasis and weight on both parts, which I like. It's a very consistent pen. The clip being gold, it doesn't really need any macchia here and Actually looking at the rose petals, it's worth thinking back. So if you saw the video on the Nimiki Emperor Butterfly and Chrysanthemum, you would have seen that the flowers in that were a little bit more regulated and didn't have the delineated black lines, so a slightly different emphasis. Here the black lines do a really good job because there's actually nothing else to give you the context. Because it's gold flowers on a gold background, you really need those lines to give them the shape and the form. And they work really well. They're not at all standardized, they're quite fluid, I really like them. So if I open it up here, let's take a look at the nib. Right. So this is the two-tone size 20 Namiki Yukari Royale nib. So this is an 18 karat gold nib. As with all of the Namikas, it writes very smoothly, of course, you can get it customized. It has a wet flow, it uses a CON70 converter which holds about one milliliter of ink and there you can see the two-tone nib with the Mount Fuji snow cap. Now if you bought just the Namiki Royale Urushi pen in vermilion or black you would see that the nib is single tone but any of the Macchio pens or any of the Chinkin pens at this size will have the two-tone nib. So. It's a famously nice writer. Now I've been doing all these reviews of Emperors, so to me this feels a little bit small and I do have a very large hand. So for me, this is a comfortable pen. I actually wouldn't want it any smaller, but it's absolutely great in my hand. Um, and I do have very large hands, so I am not representative of the most of the pen world. So I don't want to give advice based on the fact I have massive hands. So it's very nice. It's about the same size actually as a Platinum Mizumo, if you've used one of those before. Um, here is the actual size comparison, let's make it obvious. So here is in the middle a Yukari size or Chinkin size next to the Yukari Real next to the Emperor and you can see the Emperor is massive. So the Yukari size actually is almost the same length as the Yukari Royale and the main difference really would be the diameter which is just a bit thicker. So a slight length difference, a slight nib difference. You go to the Emperor and it's a huge step up. The nib is much bigger the end of the barrel there is much bigger. 
So you can see it is a large pen, but it's not a giant pen by any means. Um, and it is a very lovely pen. So let's have a look now at the detail on the pen. So there's a few little elements which I really like. I like this gold band around the end of the cap here. It does a really nice job. It's very discreet. It works very well. Um, but obviously the star of the show are these leaves. And they are just right. And by, by just right, they look white enough that they don't look like they're oversaturated with colour and yet they give you that lovely change in the pen as you turn it. The same thing I get with the Namiki Nightline Emperor, that's what makes that pen so lovely to hold is the way it shimmers and shines as you turn it. It's the same with this pen. It gives you those different lights, these changes, these reflections and it really allows the rest of the pen to be this single gold tone. I think the gold needs something else in it and the white is a great break in it. So that's what then allows those flowers to look so nice. Interestingly here, quite rare for Namiki, you can see that the thread has Makia on it as well. Now if you're buying things like Nikai, you'll find that's very common, but generally for Namiki the threads are just black. So this one has the thread, the whole section has the gold. The gold doesn't stop anywhere on the pen, although you might notice that the both ends of the cap and the barrel have the sparkling gold powder while the middle is a bit more of a matte finish. It's nicely consistent. It's also quite strong, it's quite loud. You see this pen in a box of Namiki Ikari Royales and it really stands out. It's the first pen that says, bang, look at me. Um, but then it's really, really, really beautiful pen. And I'm kind of okay with that. It's a bit like when we reviewed the Namiki Dragon. It's a very strong, bold pen. This is also a very strong, bold pen, but it's also a very beautiful pen. And there it is as we close out the video. So that was the first Yukari Royale review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.